Hi, my name is Manuel Fernandez and I have a five minute talk and I'm going to talk about geothermal and power plants. Um, first of all, geothermal energy is a natural, renewable, and reliable form of uh, energy that uh, comes from the earth. Uh, since the formation of the earth, there has been energy being formed underneath the, the crust of the, the, of the of the earth due to the radioactivity um, decay of different materials uh, that causes heat. Um, this heat can range anywhere from uh, a number of temperatures from 0 to 200 uh, to over 306 to over 300 uh, uh, to over 350 60 uh, degrees Fahrenheit and uh, basically what this power plants do is take advantage of that, uh, of that heat being formed underneath the, the surface of the earth. Uh, the type of plant that you use depends a lot on the, on, on the temperature range that you are at the moment. Um, the, ma the main problem with Geothermal power plants is they're limited on where they can be installed because uh, there aren't that many hot spots that can give you a uh, direct source of uh, superheated steam. So this is why the dry steam for, uh, power plant is uh, the least common because you you cannot always find those hot spots that will give you um, superheated steam straight out of the source. So that's what this power plant does. It just takes the superheated steam straight to the turbine and injects it back down to the uh, to the inside of the air, to the other surface. Um, to solve this problem, the most commonly used one right now is the flash steam power plant, where uh, you don't have temperatures that uh, maybe go into the superheated. Uh, region, but there's still a pretty high temperature to where you can just create a change in volume to take it to that final superheated stage where you need it to, be, to enter uh, the turbine. You can flash it more than once to get more uh, more power out of the process, and this is the most commonly used right now. Uh, a better system uh, that is more modern. It's for temperatures that are below 360 Fahrenheit. Uh, what they do is that they still take advantage of the heat produced within the surface by using a second working fluid that has a lower, um, a lower uh, critical point and temperature so that you can superheat that fluid and use it in the turbine instead of having to use the water that has a relatively high um, heating point. Um, any questions? Thank you.